Ladies and gentlemen, it's the mid-morning radio program you can listen to between meals without ruining your appetite for bitter chitter cheddar. Mike Parry and Mike Graham on Talk Sport. Good morning and welcome back to Talk Sport and welcome to the mid-morning show with myself, the Portmeister, and a big welcome back to MG, Mike Graham. Mike, welcome back to the Thank you very much studio. indeed. Um, I heard what you said about me when I was away, don't you What did I that? say about you when you were away? Well, you referred to me as fat so and all yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Now it's, oh, hello, welcome back. Yeah, well, it is a welcome back, but I have to say, I'm not sure that it's a very, very happy welcome back, because at least when I had Saggy here, at least when I had Mark Saggers here, there was the milk of human compassion yeah. in this studio. Yeah. Now that you've arrived back, mm. the milk of human compassion has flown completely out of this studio. It's evaporated. It's evaporated, it's disappeared, it's run down the drain, it's gone down the gurgler where you might be going by the end of the show. Is that right? Because I think the audience are going to turn on you. Do you know why? I don't think so. We're reading stuff again this morning about Paul Gascoigne. Paul Gascoigne is a national hero. Now you are trying to tell Was me... Was a national hero. You are trying to tell me that most talk sport listeners are bored stiff by the antics of Paul Gascoigne. That's right. That the well of sympathy that we've had for him for years, decades even, has now run out, Correct. and it's no longer there, and that, frankly, nobody could care less whether Paul Gascoigne just stumbles off into the ether and we never see him again. That's I, what don't, you're I, don't, I don't think people have any compassion left for the guy, because well, he's clearly in yeah. a bad place, but it's of his own making. Yeah, well, I think that's a disgraceful and disgusting way to look at things. The, the, the danger with Paul Gascoigne is that if we don't get a grip, and if we don't get hold of this national hero, if we don't help a man who's clearly got mental problems, and try and bring him back from the brink, then you know what's going to happen as well as I do. One of these mornings, sadly, somebody's going to be walking across the time bridge and watch uh, Paul Gascoigne floating face down below them. That's, so who's going to help That is the it? tragic consequence of ignoring the plight of Paul Gascoigne. We have an obligation as a civilised country, we as a um, football supporting radio station have an obligation to try and help because we can and not many other people are able to do that. And I'm saying save Paul Gascoigne. I'm honestly saying save Paul Gascoigne and Mike Graham's a disgrace for having no milk of human compassion for that boy. Good morning again. It's seven minutes past ten. The the just tell us about the latest um, uh, you know claims and, uh, and and revelations really because there's no dispute about the fact the boy's in a bad way. Well, exactly. But the, the latest are well. I mean, we already yeah. know that sometime in the next month he may well be sentenced to some jail time for a drunk driving offence for which he's already been found guilty, uh, and he's going to be sentenced on the 11th of, of November coming up. However. In the papers this morning, there's yet another story of uh, a foul-mouthed, drunken Paul Gascoigne taken to hospital after trashing a hotel room. Basically, mm. uh, he went and checked into uh, one of these premier inns, and it was discovered that he was smearing chicken curry all over the TV, mm. up the walls, all over the desk, yeah. and he was taken yeah. away, and he's now been put into uh, some kind of a drying-out clinic yet again, yeah. because he keeps yeah, just careering okay, around. Okay. And he keeps behaving in a way which, frankly, is irresponsible. It may well be that he's oh, no course longer it's in irresponsible, control. irresponsible, but he's lost his mind. Well, he fool. may have lost his mind. Yeah. But so where are his friends? Where are his family? Right. Well, where are is... those people? Right. I don't know why your heart bleeds for somebody yeah. that you don't even know. He may well have been sorry. a great uh, footballing icon in this yeah. country yeah. many, many years ago. But it's been very clear to everybody who is out there who is going to call in and support me rather than you, yeah. that there is nothing anybody can do for Paul Gascoigne. Uh, well, I don't agree with that. Now, I want to hear from you, please. 08717 Text us on 81089 or email us via the website at talksport.co.uk forward slash Parry and Graham. The position is this. I honestly believe that there is a well of compassion in this country still for Paul Gascoigne. Mike Graham, MG here, is taking completely the opposite view. It's a callous one, in my view. It's a callous view. It's, it, it's typical of, of what I've seen in Mike, the worst side of Mike over the years. You know, complete disregard and, and lack of interest in other human beings who've got problems. I'm the one who's always there trying to help people out, trying to pull people out of the gutter, trying to give people response and respect for their lives. What do you do? Very little indeed. Well, no, you talk a lot because no, talk selfish. is very cheap. No, no, you're, talk, a, no. you're a blinking no, selfish This is not about me, Mike. This is not about me, OK? I don't need help. It's about Gascoigne you trying, trying is to the guy people's that minds. needs help. You, on the other hand, are very, very good at telling people what they should be doing with their lives claiming that you're going to help them. What are you going to do for Paul Gascoigne? Are you going to take him in? Are you going to look after him? Are you going to stop him from doing something terrible? Right, you say I don't know Paul Gascoigne. That's not true. I've interviewed Paul at least three times. He's been twice in this studio. Uh, I have been in touch with him well, when, when he's had problems. It? Well, I'll tell you this. If I had the ability to put a roof over that boy's head and thought that it would help him, I certainly would. Well, why don't you then? 
Well, I will. If I get hold of him and talk to him, I will. And I'll say, Paul, if I can help, I'll help. You're very well sitting here saying, you know, people should be doing stuff for Paul yeah. Gascoigne. What yeah. are you doing? Well, I'm going to find people you're who might be very well saying you're full of the milk on, of human kindness and compassion. Excuse talk me. is cheap, mate. Even if I can't help him directly, I'm going to try and find people who can help him. I'll say you don't have to do anything. I will. Look, if I, if I could find a property that is vacant uh, or even turf some tenants out of a property that, that I may have an association with. Well, so you can with. smear chicken and, curry all over the walls. Well, that's a risk you take. I'm, I'm afraid with Gaza, if you, you know, it's, it's never going to be a bowl of cherries. Let's go straight to the lines. Let's talk to Linda in Kingsford. Uh, hello, Linda. Hello. Hello, Linda. Linda, you're talking to TalkSport here, to, to myself, the compassionate one. That's, uh, that's Mike Parry and, and MG, the callous individual. What's your view on this, Linda? Well, I'm, I'm Linda from Kingsford, not Kingston. I said Kingsford, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I think, you know, we all love him to bits. We yeah. have done since day one. Of course we do. But, um, I think he's beyond help now. Well, hang on, you can't be beyond help while you're still living and breathing. If you <laughs> abandon somebody who's still living and breathing and say they're beyond help, you're condemning them to damnation. Oh, Linda's gone. Yeah. That damnation. I don't, I don't blame her, frankly. After what, listening what, to all that tripe, <laughs> she decided to hang up on what, you. What, no, wonder, no wonder she's given up. No, she didn't hang up on me. Yeah, she did. The damnation She line. wanted to talk to me, clearly. She Suddenly rang got to talk to me, not to you. So let's go back to the lines. Let's talk to Joe, who's uh, a Celtic fan up there north of the border. Hi, Joe. How you doing, mate? Yeah, Joe, we're doing OK. What do you think we should be doing as English people and maybe as British people? Because, of course, he comes from near your part of the world, just south of the border, Tyneside. What should we be doing for him, Joe? The only person that can help Paul Gascoigne is Paul Gascoigne. Well, what a defeatist talk that is. If I only wanted to know that, Joe, I, you know, I just said it wasn't worth you I'm bringing sorry, up. I'm sorry. I really want some sure. positivity. I'm, sor I'm sorry. Anybody that goes to any addiction or any addiction goes to any help, they'll give you so much help, that, but part of the cure is yourself. He you thinks nobody loves him anymore. Yourself. That's his problem. He thinks everybody's abandoned him. But people like you, Joe, are not helping at all. Thank you for your call, but I need some more you positivity see what I mean? People are concerned about Paul Gascoigne up to a point, right? He has had so many chances. He's been into so many rehab clinics. He's been starting again. Remember that terrible documentary went over to China? Yeah, I And he did. was supposed yeah, to I be uh, starting up with another football team. I do. He was mentioned, uh, was he not, last month, as opposed to be uh, joining some yeah. other non-league team as manager. Hopeless that case. hasn't taken case. Hopeless the, case. The point is he's not anymore in control of his own life. I'll tell you what, if you really yeah. think that people should do something seriously for him, the people you should be asking is not the ordinary people out there, yeah. but the FA. Why doesn't the FA have some kind of special place for uh, deranged I, footballers? I would support or footballers that. who are down it's on not, their luck. It's not money you know, around we, used to, we used to have uh, mm. uh, a place for, for sort of retired journalists or journalists no, we still have who had fallen uh, I'm on a hard times. I'm okay. a patron, yeah. Why can the football business not have that? Why well, can't Newcastle do something for him? Why can't yeah. Tottenham do something for him? Yeah, well, Why should you be the one that has to step up to the plate? Yeah, well, uh, somebody has got to step up to the plate. It's no good me asking why can't they, why can't he. You've got to take personal responsibility. Look, give us a call, please. I'm going to